everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm really glad you're here. Today we're doing something a little bit different for my channel. We are doing my everyday summer makeup routine. I love that kind of video. I love watching it on other girls' channels. I think it's fun to see what kind of products they're using and how they're using them. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I also do quick videos about life and God. So last week I did a what's in my purse tag. I'm also doing videos about how to live your life for God and what that looks like. So if you want to see more videos like that, be sure to subscribe. Like I said, I upload three times a week. And yeah, I hope you like this video. Let's get into it. All right, guys, I have started out with freshly exfoliated skin. Comment below if you want to see my skincare routine. I'd love to do that video for you guys if you want to see it. I'm tying back my hair, and I am using my IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream in the shade Light. I'm taking about a pump and a half and spreading that across my skin with my fingers just to kind of warm it up. I'm going to pay special attention to the areas around my jaw and neckline, hairline, just to make sure it's blended. And then I'm gonna go in with a dampened beauty blender and bounce that around on my face to really blend in around the areas that can look a little bit more cakey. And so I see a lot of people scrubbing their beauty blender and rubbing it instead of bouncing it, but you're really supposed to bounce it. This is my original scented chapstick. I use this for almost every day. Even if I'm wearing lipstick, I wear that underneath. This is my L'Oreal True Match concealer crayon in the shade light and I just use that to conceal any under area darkness and also to highlight on the high points of my face top of the forehead down the bridge of my nose Cupid's bow a teensy bit on my chin and I'm taking my dampened beauty blender and blending that in this takes a little bit of time but it makes you look really natural but it also conceals really well so I really like that that's what it looks like now my Milani luminoso blush that is my favorite blush and my Sonia Kashuk number 24 powder brush powder blush brush I take that across my cheeks and again on the high points of my face because it's also a highlighter my Anastasia brow Wiz. this is awesome I have dark brows but I do like to define the bottom part of my brows you can see here I'm just kind of drawing underneath to define that a little bit more and then filling it in a little bit in the front portion just to kind of make it stand out more this is my L'Oreal voluminous mascara in carbon black and I like the one with the curved wand there's also one that has a wand that's more straight across, straight across, but I think this just looks really pretty and natural. I don't go too heavy on mascara for an everyday look. That was my first look with the chapstick. The second lip option that I have is this Giordana Tawny Lip Liner, and I just fill in my entire lips with the lip liner. I don't go on the outside, I go through the entire part, I fill it all in. I think that looks natural and pretty, just a little bit better than my natural lip color. The third look I like to do is lipstick. I have been wearing lipstick like four times a week, you guys. This is Milani in Sangria. It is probably one of my top favorite colors. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you like these three options. Tell me which lip color was your favorite, the chapstick, the lip liner, or the lipstick. And yeah, have an awesome day. I'll see you in my next video. Trust in the Bible.